Hey there, everyone. This is going to be the first of many HTML uh, lessons for beginners. Um, I'm going to be doing them over the summer. I'm out of school now, so I can focus on getting videos and blog posts out. So, I'm going to be doing this on a Mac. All of this that I'm going to be showing you, it's basically code, so it will work on a Windows, so you can still watch these and use the information if you're on Windows or Linux or whatever because all the code is the same throughout all platforms but the only thing that is Mac related that I'm going to show you now is if you're going to be using text edit you need to configure it so that it's in a plain text editor so you have to go up to text edit then preferences and then over on new document you have to change it to plain text instead of rich text and then click on the open and save tab and check off these two boxes ignore rich text commands in HTML files and ignore rich text commands in RTF files and uh, then you restart your uh, text edit you quit it and open it back up again and it should look like this if you're on a Mac so let's begin the lesson uh, you might wonder what HTML stands for. It means a uh, hypertext hypertext markup language. It's basically the internet's uh, language, and it makes up a website. And it's all based on code that you write, and the code tells the website like what to do and how to look. And you're gonna be writing this in a plain text word processor or editor, and save it with a certain extension so that it can be like viewed with the internet so you can see what your website's going to look like and since your code is written in plain text it can be viewed and edited and shared and things with any other platform all you need is a plain text editor and you'll be able able to open the HTML file and when you write your HTML code you need to use things called angle brackets they look like this and um, they're used in tags, and a tag is in your is written in your code, and it basically tells, uh, it tells the text in between, uh, to do a certain thing. That goes in between the angle brackets, and tags make up the structure of an HTML document. And when you write, when you're writing with tags, you have to have a start, and an you have to have an, a starter and open and a closing or ending tag and um, I'll just show you what that looks like uh, opening tag you put an angle bracket and then you type your tag and another angle bracket then you put your stuff in between that and the closing tag you have to put a slash because that means that it's closing like that if you were going to um, like for the body of your HTML all your stuff goes between the body all the content that it wants that's gonna be on your website all your code is gonna be between the first body uh, first body tag and the end body tag so all your content will be your code will be in between here and it will end right there because you have the slash that's a closing tag and in closing tags there's always the same uh, tag like the word body that will be in the closing tag as well but it will have a slash in front of it meaning that it's closing and so that is basically tags and uh, HTML files are normal files, but they have a certain extension that allows you to view them with the internet. And those extensions are usually .htm, .html, or .shtml. And it doesn't really matter which one you use, because it should all have the same effect. Within an HTML file, it has two main parts, a head and a body. The head contains the title information, 
like what you see at the top of a website in your browser. So if I go down here to Twitter, right up here, where it says Twitter slash home, that is going to be in your head, your header part of your HTML document, whatever you want to display there, where it says Twitter slash home, that's going to be in your header part of your HTML document. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And the other part is the body, and that contains everything else that's going to be viewed on your website. So the basic structure for an HTML file is HTML, and then it's head for your header. And then between your head file, you have the title file, and that is what um, that's what's going to be displayed, like where it said Twitter slash home. That's what's going to be displayed on at the top of your browser. So we'll call this a uh, test website. And then after t this title, that's the only thing that's going to be in it. So you close it. So then you put title, another angle bracket. Go down to your next line. And that's all it is for the head. So then you close it with the head. The next part is the body. So now you have your body. And you can leave a bunch of space or you don't have to. And just keep adding to it. But your body, every, all your code will go in between the body, the opening tag, body, and the closing tag. And then at the end, to finish up your HTML file, you close HTML. So that right there, that's the basic structure for an HTML uh, file. And so your body, that's where all your text goes. So I'll just give you, I'll just give you an example. Uh, this is where and then this, you can do that. That's a basic structure for your HTML file and I'll show you what that will look like so when you're saving an HTML file you go file save as I'm gonna save it to my desktop and you have to and you have to call it index dot htm or dot html I'm gonna use dot htm then you click save Make sure that you use the .htm or .html though. And then if you're on a Mac, it'll say use .htm. Click that. Then over here, you have your index.htm file. Now, if you click on that, if you double click, it will open the internet. It will not open your text edit so that you can edit the file. So if you want to edit the file, you have to right click and click open with and go down to text edit if you're on a Mac. It's pretty much the same if you're on Windows too. So I'm just gonna double click and show you what that looks like. See right here, you see up here it says test website, that's where our title was, and this is the body right there. So that's the basic structure and how a website starts off. Um, so the next lesson that is gonna be on common tags to put in your HTML. So that should be up pretty soon. Uh, I'll probably work on that one today too. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned some stuff. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, things like that. And read my blog at blakestechblog.com. And I'll see you next time.